Hello guys, it's Rad. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Rad Kotarot, and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and Taurus Rising weekly tarot reading for March 11th to March 17th, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards once again, I want to remind you that uh, this is going to be a general reading for Taurus Star Sign. And uh, for that reason, uh, this reading is going to resonate in a different way and as well in a different level with uh, every single different Taurus. So for that reason, uh, in this video, I, of course, will try my best to uh, explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread. But uh, ultimately, oh my God, what is this? Ultimately, at the end, um, you have to align this general reading with uh, your personal situation to make the, the reading a little bit more personal. Now, if you want me to do that for you, meaning to uh, analyze your personal situation uh, through tarot and to give you personalized prediction for the future, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. <laughs> and there on the very first page, uh, you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. So going to the spread, the first card for Taurus is that marks the topic of their week. This is going to be at the uh, Eight of Pentacles, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation, or in other words, the things that you should not do regarding the topic here. That is going to be the strength card. Followed with the third one, which is the positive approach toward the situation or the things that you should do regarding the topic here, that is going to be the two of cups. And the last one that is going to be the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of tarot, that is the five of cups. So once again, topic is the eight of pentacles, then it is the uh, negative approach, the strength, then we do have the positive approach, two of cups, and the final outcome of growth, which is to be the five of cups. Lovely. So, uh, Taurus, this, uh, this week is not going to be uh, very dynamic in the sense of that uh, not many new things are going to happen. As a matter of fact, uh, this week does not involve you making uh, or incorporating yourself or investing yourself into new enterprises, but rather <clears throat> it does reflect to you solidifying on already current uh, positions. A very good week career-wise and relationship-wise as well. It does depend once again what is your situation, but you can definitely be very, very effect effective Excuse me, in either of those fields. And if you're single, then your effectiveness regarding finding person to be with is going to be through the roof. So <clears throat> first card, which is the topic, that is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. And first things first with the Eight of Pentacles, no matter what you do, uh, no matter whom you are interacting yourself with, uh, you need to exert huge po portion of consuation. So, uh, it's kind of like, yeah, I, I hope that I'm pronouncing the word correctly. Con... Consuatious. Consuatiousness. It's the word, so yeah, consuatious. Toward either your things, your projects, your social circle, or you know, the person that you want to be with in case this is uh, your, your situation. But in order for you to maximize the, bene the benefits and the profits from the, eight of, uh, from the Eight of Pentacles, you need to have that eye fixed upon the subtleties, the small things, the minor details. You got to do things to close to a, a perfection, okay? And additionally to that, the Eight of Pentacles, it is a, a very positive card pointing that what, what have been prepared, what, what, who've, uh, what have taken a, a long time to be prepared now can start kind of like bringing 
fruit or is going to be brought to fruition. So this card itself, if we're talking about a, a profession and career and so on and so forth, it does represent some sort of an initiation regarding a, a plan that has been made until this very moment or a project that was being lingering until until this very moment and everybody was waiting the, the approval to come around and uh, this card, it is a clear sign that this is going to happen throughout the week. And also it's a clear sign that the plan that has been created for that project, it is a, a very, very good plan. But in the grand scheme of things, the Eight of Pentacles, it asks you to solidify uh, on the uh, on the current undertakings and try to develop them even to a bigger perfection either once again career wise or either relationship wise so in other words this week you know uh, attend to the minor details and uh, basically sort them out the accompanied card here this is going to be the world and definitely we we have here a, a passive supporters and definitely we're talking about capitalization and uh, a finalization of an, an important cycle of growth in your life and you get to do it the way you want to all right so you can do what you want to do the way you want to do it it's just as i said consuations is a, a a virtue that you need to put toward either your things or either the people that you're dealing with regardless if that is about career or relationship relationship and as well <clears throat> you have to with the world card you have to establish your positions now one more another thing i want to say with the, about these cards is that there are going to be ups and downs all right so the week is not going to go without any issues here and there but the ups and downs that you're going to experience or you know the plights that may come around to you regardless career or relationship wise are there to make you stronger so uh instead of panic and instead of becoming frantic about these things, these plights that may appear here and there, taking your time to meticulously pick up, pick up, excuse me, the, um, the roots of the matter or the core of the issue here and do the necessary, uh, take the necessary measures, do the necessary performance to resolve that issue is going to bring, is going to, uh, how can I place it? Give you greatest results that you can hope for. And on another level, those who are single, and especially guys, those of you who recently went through breakup, these couple of cards are asking you to just put these, this thing behind your back. I, as I said, that this is about solidifying. It is about solidifying on the current undertakings, not on the past undertakings, all right? So you got to listen to what I say exactly the way I say it. And what I mean is that, you know, for example, when I say that you should not go for a new enterprise and, uh, <clears throat> you know, that you need to solidify on your current things, you may so you may kind of like adopt this standpoint, oh my God, so I have my ex, so I have to solidify on my ex. No, it's your ex. It's something from your past. You got to solidify on your current situation which is single right so it's solidifying on that meaning that you should display yourself that you are free again right and that you are ready to involve yourself with someone else and so on and so forth and it is unlikely that this week is going to give you someone uh is going to give you a new relationship okay but <clears throat> with the next card that we that we're going that we are going to take a look at it does look like that at least you will have multiple um, options available of person of interest and somewhere along the along the line as you enter into the near future uh, uh, there is a, a very big chance for you to involve yourself with someone uh, with someone of them but <clears throat> currently as i said you should kind of like you know finalize that cycle of your ex or of failure that you recently had and so on and so forth and just look toward the future, not toward the past. So the next card that we do have and what you should not do regarding the topic here, this is the strength card. So the strength card is a very tricky card to be interpreted because it goes in either into the extreme, either extreme patience or either a, an extreme enthusiasm and temper. 
In this case, I do believe we're talking about temper and uh, what you need to do in order to overcome the strength card is to be patient, all right? And that is kind of close to one mind because you are going to <clears throat> attend to subtleties and minor details. And when one does these things, you know, one kind of tend to quickly lose its temper and doesn't have much patience. It's no different than, for example, being a clockwork, all right? And when you do your things, these finest maneuvers that one can do, it's kind of like one easily can lose its um, its patience and kind of like uh, give a room to their temper. That is the thing that you should not do here. And also one more thing with the strength card is that it will be good if others, people around you in general, your coworkers or your friends into your social circle, family and so on and so forth, are aware of what you're doing. That is another thing because many uh, misunderstandings could arise should you keep these people in dark and keeping them into silent treatment. So best thing is if you, for example, like somebody uh, into your social circle, you know, share that with your friends because you may not know that someone else from your friends may like the same person and that is, boom, instantly a point of conflict should you not display your intentions straight away, but not to your target, but instead to the people that are involved into this, um, into this undertaking, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. The accompanied card here for the strength, this is going to be the Ace of Cups, so deformation is active uh, enemies. And it's another confirmation that you should not stray for anything new here. But instead, uh, but instead, excuse me, use the calmness of this time of this week, you know, to sort your current um, current issues uh, that you are uh, that you are facing. Because with the Ace of Cups as a shade to the um, to the Strength card, some new circumstances are going to arise, which are going to give you the means necessary in order to resolve your current issues. But only once again, if you do have the patience to do so. <clears throat> Uh, kind of relying on your quick temper, relying on your nature of outburst and so on and so forth, because some of you are going to have such a nature, is not going to be something serving you very well. Not to mention that the key to the resolution and, and solidifying on your current patterns is to be uh, in cooperation with the next card, Two of Cups, but we are going to get there in a minute. <clears throat> so... Uh, <clears throat> Once again, like I said, with the first couple of cards, you're gonna have the uh, the means necessary to do what you wanna do the way you wanna do it. And it is something you need to be unyielding about, okay? So even if it does look a bit, a little bit of a harder to be performed into a project into or into a relationship, you should not withdraw from this standpoint that you do want something to happen exactly the way you want it to happen. So, <clears throat> Next card that we do have for you, Taurus, is this is the positive approach toward situation, and that is the Two of Cups. As we said, cooperation. Additionally to that, the Two of Cups asks you to um, be peaceful regarding those which are surrounding you. So, in other words, if you do have, or if you at this moment are wrangling with a friend of yours or with a coworker of yours, or even with your partner, should you find yourself into a relationship at this very moment, this card asks you guys to show solidarity and compassion and as well, huge amounts of love, not romantic one in general, but just the love toward the human nature and try to make peace with uh, with those people. That is especially because career-wise, the Two of Cups relies a lot on the peacefulness and humbleness of the situation that surrounds one project or surrounds one career as well. But also with, uh, as you, uh, as you may, uh, blah, blah, as you are capable to make peace with those around you, also is going to attract helping hands, people that you can share your good or bad fortune as well. And basically is gonna make your progress much more easier than it is at this very moment because you will have people to rely on. Additionally to that, <clears throat> When it comes to relationships with the Two of Cups, obviously we are relying on love, but in this case, it's the self-love, the love that you do have towards yourself. Once again, with the uh, with the Eight of uh, Pentacles, you should not be unyielding. You should 
be unyielding about your criteria and learn to love yourself first and foremost. And as you love yourself, inevitably you're gonna find someone that is gonna love you for what you love yourself, if that makes any sense. So it kind of like, is, it, there won't be any uh, points of conflict with this person. Once again, <clears throat> If you're single or if you are uh, if you are single, excuse me, and you display yourself in front of the world that you are single, you're ready to receive new love and so on and so forth, uh, then this card shows that you are going to attract suitors. Now, in this week, so you, uh, probably a, a relationship or establishing a relationship in that case is not going to be on the front page, but having suitors and people to choose from is always a, a good thing. And for what I, for what it seems with the two of cups, it does look like that uh, this week is gonna go under the banner of you seeing whom you are most compatible with and whom you kind of like can share more and more from your personal life, and they can share more and more from their personal life as well. The formation with the Ace of Swords as additional card is passive neutrals. <clears throat> And in this particular uh, in this particular shade that the ace adds is that one can overlook certain facts, all right, or readopt a certain standpoints, mindset that is, in order to reach a um, a common ground with the people around. What I mean is that uh, as you as you need to make uh, peace with those around, it doesn't mean that. How can I place it? Uh, well, it's very difficult to follow this one as an explanation, but uh, well, with the Ace of Wands, it points that you should not be that radical and that um, extreme when it comes to opinion and standpoints, but your criteria, rather, should be where you should be unyielding about. And when it comes to criteria, this involves, once again, a personal projects and personal relationships, you know, but my point here is, is just so you don't provoke wrangles with someone or disagreements here, even if you are not agree with something, if that something does not... Uh, affects you directly, it will be best if you keep a silent treatment about or rather like if you kind of keep your opinion for yourself. And the last card that we do have for you Tauruses, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, this is going to be the, uh, the uh, Five of Cups. And uh, this is about understanding. So this card points that recently you went through a poignant time, all right? And uh, when you accomplish this guidance here from Tarot, meaning that you do have this eye for the subtleties, for the minor details, your consuations about, you, you do have that con consuations blah, uh, regarding the people and the projects that you're working with, you know, you're humble, you're polite, you show solidarity, keep your temper in, uh, keep your temper checked and so on and so forth and you focus on the future and yourself you in another words you kind of like solidify on the law for oneself then what you're going to realize at the end of the week is that whatever poignant experience you do had in the past that is a, a partial loss it's the world doesn't end there just to give you an example of it let's say that one of you Tauruses recently went through a breakup and it seems that everything is over. They don't want to, they don't want any new enterprise, I believe, start believing in the doom and gloom and so forth, so on and so forth. When you accomplish this week, at the end of the week, you are going to see that this previous relationship was just a milestone, was just a part of your, uh, of your life. And it, your life should not end there and it doesn't end there. And even if it is a loss, it's just a partial loss, all right? Something that stays in the past and now you should keep on moving the path that you have consciously taken, meaning of being happy with someone whom with entirely, 
is going to be defined entirely based on your decision decisions excuse me just like we said here that you're gonna have multiple suitors to choose from but that choosing happens further into the future the whole point of the five of cups is that you're going to realize that things aren't as bad as you think they are and there is still what you can fight for and there is still what you can live for as well and with the devil card here as a accompanied card the formation is passive friends and it means that the more you realize that um or kind of like the more you are adopting adopting the standpoint that what you lost in the past it is something temporary and not permanent you know and it was just a part of your life and not a, a substantial asset to your life rather <clears throat> then the more and more you will start believing yourself the more and more you will become more powerful here with the devil card uh, there is a certain shade that you may become uncontrollable as well but you you have to aim to control yourself how you interact with others and with projects but also is going to allow you guys to be a factor to alter these fateful circumstances you require in order to make your breakthroughs either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. <clears throat> so the way I see it all in all, uh, I will follow the example of the recent breakup. So if you do have a recent breakup, what these cards are pointing is just because you have a recent breakup, that doesn't mean that everybody around you should suffer from it. So meaning keeping your temper in check, you know, you should not blow out in front of everybody uh, about it and, uh, you know, maintain your patient and as well with the Eight of Pentacles here, display yourself on the market. I'm sorry for the expression here, but display yourself single and ready to be with someone else once again and uh, you're going to see that you do have options available and one of those options available as a matter of fact with the last card you are to define that it is much better than the previous one of yours and from there you know a, a meaningful interaction very powerful one for that matter could happen and it should happen as well but with the five of cups you are going to see that the best is yet to come nonetheless regarding regardless if this is going to be career or if this is going to be relationship wise uh, just you know do not stop working and keep on working um, on yourself rather than for others so that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading for March 11th to March 17, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, Tauruses. And once again, this was your general reading for Taurus' star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different way and in a different level for every single different Taurus. So if you want, however, more personal touch, so meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot, just like I did for the few examples in this video and to give you a prediction for the future, uh, then that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And on the very first page, you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you around. Bye.